right. It is difficult to express how grateful I am to you for teaching me the power of friendship. You would think after more than a thousand years, there would be nothing left to learn. And yet, even a pony as old as I can continue to be surprised by how much there is to know. I hope you find these postcards enjoyable, and I look forward to seeing you again, though I can't say when my journey will be complete. Your friend, Star Swirl. It must be gratifying to have your idol writing to you about the friendship lessons he's learning. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to it. Of course, if he really wants to learn about friendship, he could just come to our school. Professor Sparkle? The male pony just came with uh, a few things. <laughs> the sewing machines I ordered for my class. These came too. I wasn't sure what to make of them. These machines were costly, but I am quite certain the friendship lessons I can teach my students with them will be invaluable. <sighs> Oh, don't worry, darling. I'll think of something. And I didn't use the school funds to buy these. I made the purchase entirely with my own bits. It's not that. It's this. Why waste your time at a friendship school that's just a school? Learn everything they teach and more at Friendship University. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun A beautiful heart Faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it All complete to have mine Do you know You are my very best friends Who would open Another friendship school? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing To worry about You're the princess Of friendship what could this other school possibly offer? It isn't just another friendship school. It's a university. It says they teach the same lessons of competing schools in half the time. That's twice the learning. And it's in Las Pegasus? If Professor Rarity lets us skip her sewing class, road trip! <laughs> I think we need to look into this school. I don't like to judge solely on appearances, but... What kind of friendship school is this? Only the best friendship school in the West. And maybe all of Equestria! There's more ponies in here than at our whole school. Who is running this place? Oh, welcome, friends! You are about to embark on a journey of amazing magnitude. One that will change your lives forever! Prepare yourselves to embrace a new path and become students of Friendship You! Flim and Flam. Of course! If you're alone and you can't make friends, we understand your plight. Until now, there was just one way your friendships could take flight. There is a school real far away that'll teach you what to know. But if you live here, you couldn't stay. You'd learn you have to go. Now there is an alternative to all of that adversity. Not just a school, I'll have you know, but a whole university. At Friendship U, our aim is true. In a city, not some backwater. You'll learn the things you need to know at our new Friendship you, the one and only university of friendship. As you can see, we're a success by any kind of stat. That may be so, for all I know, but I still smell a rat. Every pony lucky here, that other school's head mayor. Her presence is a testament to the mutual respect we share. What? No, it isn't. 
It really is the final piece to make our work complete. To have the friendship princess bless our school is such a treat. We're so honored at Friendship U. We teach to you and you all of our friendship knowledge. You'll learn it all in half the time in the one and only Friendship College. How can any pony learn friendship in half the time? Coursework is so accelerated to take longer would be a crime. The lessons that we teach have been reviewed and checked and edited, which might explain why our new school's about to be accredited. At Friendship U, oh yes, it's true. Even the princess of friendship agrees. The only place in Equestria to give out friendship degrees. Yeah. Accredited? It means officially recognized or authorized. We know what it means, but who would accredit this place? Why, the EEA, of course. Chancellor Naysay? The Equestria Educational Association has taken an interest in institutions that teach friendship in a pony-first environment. Surely you didn't think your school has a monopoly on the concept? Well, she did write the book on it. Ah, yes. How to teach friendship to creatures who will one day use it as a weapon against us. How could they use friendship as a weapon? You tell me. It's your book. Meantime, this university appears to be a promising option for ponies who prefer to stick to the EEA book on the subject. You can't be serious. They're obviously up to something. It's Flim and Flam! <sighs> well, that certainly wasn't friendly. One would think the head mayor of a school of friendship, albeit an unaccredited one, would behave differently. Unless she was trying to undermine the competition, hmm? <gasps> I... no! What? I am not! I did think the princess of friendship would be friendlier. Now, now, fillies and gentle courts, let's show the princess just how friendly we are by signing up for some classes! <laughs> Why don't I show you around? I'm sorry, but approval from the EEA won't convince me that this school is what you promise. And what would it take to convince you? Well, some pony whose opinion I respect, for one. Really? Some pony like this? <gasps> Twilight? Uh-oh. Star Swirl? What are you doing here? Why, studying friendship at Flim and Flam's wonderful school. Oh, please. I think I know a disguise when I see one. Take off that ridiculous beard. Flam! Uh, how's it going in here? Oh, it's really me. I'd heard rumors you'd returned. But I didn't believe it until now. And if a pony of your stature is studying here, there really isn't anything else I need to see. I, Chancellor Naysay, hereby confer upon Friendship University complete and unreserved EEA accreditation. I... I don't understand. Why would you come here and not my school? My travels brought me to Los Pegasus. I didn't come for the school, but Flim and Flam convinced me to try it out. You can't trust Flim and Flam. They tried to con the apples out of their farm. They sold fake health tonic. They run a resort in Las Pegasus. Technically, our resort is a legitimate business. I spent a thousand years thinking the worst of a bad pony. You taught me to look for the best in him, whatever Flim and Flam's past may be. Starting this school shows they want to change for the better. I wish I could believe that. Besides, what's untrustworthy about opening a school of friendship? They don't even charge for classes. I don't know, but I know they're up to something. And until I find out, I'm begging you, come to my school instead. 
I understand feeling threatened by competition, but my word, Princess, I wonder if the ill manners of the creatures at your school aren't contagious. I think I will take my leave before I become infected. Twilight, I promise I'll visit your school soon. But for now, perhaps it's best if you return there. You don't think they're running an actual friendship school, do you? Darling, of course not. Which is why we have to investigate. But we can't go poking around the school. Every pony will think I'm still just threatened by the competition. Only if we do it as ourselves. In these disguises, we could pass as students at our own school. Oh, no, Rarity. Uh -huh. What did I say about using our real names? Sorry, Plainity, but I'm pretty sure this isn't enough of a disguise. Hey, strangers! Are you two new here? We sure are. Completely new. Great! See you in class! Oh. Now, I've read enough Shadow Spade to know the key to going undercover is rehearsing your backstory. <clears throat> I'm Plainity, and I love bland old normal stuff. No frills for me. Okay! <laughs> your turn. Uh, my name's Eye Patch. I have an eye patch. Perfect! Now, how do we start our investigation? I think we should split up. You enroll in some classes and find out what they're actually teaching. I'll look around and see what I can find. Assuming I'm not recognized. Welcome, newest students! Let's dive right in, shall we? One of the most important elements of friendship is being thoughtful. True or false? <laughs> <laughs> if by thoughtful you mean generous, I'd say true. Correct! <laughs> it was a trick question. Very impressive, Ms. Plainity. Well, 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 Miss Plainity. Keep it up and you'll be ready for our next level in no time. <gasps> now, let's see if you can demonstrate for the class. What's something generous you could do for me right now? Class, Plainity here is now my star pupil. If any of you want a chance at studying with Star Swirl, I'd take notes on her every action. Hello! The door is open, so I'll just assume it's okay to come in and look around. Unless some pony says it's not. All right then. The element of laughter and its applications. Okay, that seems pretty genuine. When to support your friend's decisions and when to talk sense. Hmm, huh, that's actually kind of interesting. Ah, uh, ha! Friendship University's true goal is to help friends become better friends. Uh, where's the proof that it's all a scam? There isn't any. Twilight Sparkle, did you really think an eye patch was enough of a disguise? No, I didn't. Well then, we agree that every pony will recognize the princess of friendship in this photo of you sneaking into our office. I can see the headline now. Princess of Jealousy, Twilight Sparkle, bent on ruining her competition. So sad. A new story like that would destroy your reputation. No pony will want to go to your school after that. Just wait until the papers get a hold of this. Princess Unhinged, it'll be the talk of Equestria. Well, gentle ponies, I finished another stack. The lessons in these worksheets are quite fascinating. Twilight, what's going on here? No, oh, just your protege getting caught snooping in our office in disguise. Well, sort of. No, oh, honestly, Princess Twilight, envy does not look good on you. I'm not envious. I know these two are up to something. I'm just trying to find out what. The only pony I see who's up to something is the pony in this picture. And it is not the princess I know. Well, 
Well, it's about to be the Princess Oliver Questrian knows. Unless you decided to drop the whole uncover the scam thing. Then we'll rip this silly picture up and not let it completely and utterly ruin you and your school. Ooh. You can be generous with all sorts of things. Gifts, compliments, your time. <gasps> <gasps> Where's your eye patch? <gasps> Was your cover blown? You could say that. Flim and Flam took a picture of me sneaking into their office. Were we wearing our eye patch? If I don't stop investigating, they're gonna tell every pony that I'm trying to sabotage their school because I'm jealous. But, 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 that's ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe I am just upset that Star Swirl came here instead of my school. Flim and Flam may have turned over a new leaf. We should probably just go home. Twilight, you are not the kind of pony to let your emotions cloud your judgment. If you think Flim and Flam are up to no good, you can't give up, even if their lessons really are impressive. Wait, what? Which reminds me, can you get a message to Spike? I want to return those sewing machines. I need the bits if I'm going to keep advancing here. Tuition's free, but the worksheets sure aren't. <laughs> Flim and Flam are charging for these? Well, they have to cover expenses, and Flam insists that everything extra goes to improving the school, and... This is the scam, isn't it? Let's find out. These lessons are so valuable. Are you sure I can't give you more? Uh, uh, unnecessary. Being able to share them with a pony like you is our real reward. Oh, my. And you want to study alongside Star Swirl, hmm? It's all I have. Come back for the rest when you can afford it. Oh, wait! I'll sell the shirt off my back! And that's the kind of determination that'll get you the next level. Student whose name I know. Twilight, maybe I should take over the investigation. Think of your reputation. My reputation isn't worth much if I won't risk it for what I think is right. Besides, I have a plan. Brother of mine, we've got almost all the bits we need to expand our resort. If we add another level of classes and worksheets, we'll be there. Maybe we should add two levels, just to be safe. Ah, <sighs> it's a thing of beauty. But I was thinking, what if we added another extreme pool slide here? Mm, sure, as long as the pipes for the musical chocolate fountain go through here. But shouldn't it go closer to the pudding hot tub here? A fair point, but... What? I knew your school was a scam. Well, well, well. If it isn't the princess of jealousy, I guess we'll be going to the papers after all. And I suppose I'll just lead your students into this secret room of bits and resort expansion plans. Uh, well, let's not get hasty. You have something on us, we have something on you. Let's just call it even. I don't think so. You can destroy my reputation if you want, but using your students' bits to expand your resort is wrong, even if the lessons you teach are good ones. Of course they're good. We copied them from your book. We just skipped every other page. All the lessons have to tie. Ugh, fine. If you really want to call it even, give back the bits and stop charging for my lessons. Then you can teach them as much as you like. Nah, yeah. running a school is more work than we thought. Besides, we almost have everything we need. I think not. Plenity, my star pupil? Not plenity, but rarity. Who? We decided to bring some pony else here to listen to everything you just said. Hey, Star Swirl, we were just about to... Return the bits you've collected from your students and close your school? Ooh. Yeah, that. <sighs> it seems I'll never stop learning from your example, Twilight. It is a valuable lesson to stand up for what you know is true. 
I wish I had known it too. Thanks for returning our bits, but how are we going to learn about friendship now? Oh. Well, I can refer you to a fairly reputable establishment just outside of Ponyville. I'm quite certain the head mayor would consider letting you in. <laughs> of course, if I ever go to a school again, I'll make sure it's yours. In friendship, Star Swirl. I still don't understand how Flim and Flam could have gotten a copy of your book. Uh, I finished straightening up in the library. Professor Rarity, I just wanted to make sure you're definitely keeping these. But of course, darling. If there's one thing I learned at Friendship University, it is not to give up when you know what's right. And I know teaching friendship through sewing is right. I just need to figure out how. <laughs> <laughs>